Just tell me, two, two straight games, two bizarre finishes. How does it feel to be on the opposite end of the point tonight? Well, it, uh, it feels tremendous for the way the players played. Um, and a phenomenal learning experience for, uh, for our men. Um, you know, to be able to win a tough one. And it's a great learning experience because it reinforces everything that uh, you tell them about never giving up and fighting to the end. And, um, not letting them into the end zone, or they're not into their end. Uh, but you know, that's the thing I'm most excited about is you know, our our team has has learned a very important lesson and um, and, and accomplished winning a winning a really tough game. Directly in front, Chris. You talk about the job Wilton did to get you in the end zone, and when did you decide that he was going to be your number two? Uh, just the last couple weeks. Two three weeks, um, he made a, he made a great throw on uh, double post. Um, did, a, did an excellent job on the on the two point conversion, and that was that ended up being you know, that uh, that put it you know really probably kicking a field goal there at the end if, if it wasn't for that two point conversion, and and he really had to step up, make a play on that one. Um, but I thought he settled down after a couple series and. You know, phenomenal, phenomenal thing for him. You know what a what a invaluable learning experience for Wilton Spate to get his first action and do it with a fourth quarter comeback and in that kind of dramatic style. Um, you know that'd be that'd be really good for his confidence as well. To your right, near Mark. Jim, what is uh, Jay Grunach's uh, injury? What, what's his problem? And when do you expect him? Uh, I don't think anything's broken. It's it's uh, it's more of a bruise. No concussion. Uh, from what they've told me, no. The, the torso, ribs, sore. Um, but he he tried to come back and and made the determination that um, and it wasn't. He couldn't. He couldn't really do it at the level we needed. Uh, and I, I thought he was having a great game. He was having one of his best games. But for our team, that's uh, like that's the thing I feel most good about right now. That was a phenomenal learning experience for our team. Thank you. The second round, Jeff. Uh, obviously, you used them in all three phases. Can you talk about the game that Peppers had? Yeah. Uh, very explosive uh, performance by Jabril in all three phases, and you know, very close to um, very close to kicking out of a shoestring tackle on offense to. Scored, scored a long touchdown, uh, worth the one he picked up the first down at midfield, uh, got it in the end zone for us on a, on a sweet play. Uh, I thought he made a good decision. We had a halfback pass dialed up, and he, he kept it. Um, in the punt return game, uh, he was one, one away from, from making that one go the distance. Uh, yeah, he was just he was an explosive, great player. Right, bro, Mike. What did what did they done Minnesota? They obviously had a good day offensively yeah. against you guys. And and what I mean, did you guys do anything different? Was it just a mental toughness those last two plays? Um, they were they were really good. Um, I thought it was a heck of a game plan by their offensive staff. Uh, you know, they had some really good concepts. They quarterback played a heck of a football game. The receivers, uh, you know, were fighting the ball downfield. They were making. Big explosive play. They were protecting the quarterback. Uh, they run, their backs were running hard, and good. Uh, you know, they, they they performed really well, and schematically, I thought they did some some, some really good things. So, um, just overall, they played a, they played a heck of a game. Uh, and we rolled the dice. DJ Durkin called the quarterback sneak there at the end, and, uh, and we we were in good position. We sold out on the on the sneak and a great job by uh, Coach Durkin. Uh, called it, you know, called the shot, and, and our guys you know, stepped up and you know, built a wall there at the goal line. Uh, All the way in the back. <laughs>